Apple and Facebook currently are not very good friends. Think of Ross and Rachel on a brick. A lot of things going on there and a lot of backstories and so on. Um, a big portion of Facebook's revenue and Google and others is from advertising revenue, where advertisers spend money there to drive business results, whether it's uh, purchases uh, via app subscriptions or a brand building aspect via videos and awareness and so on. Apple, on the other hand, uh, their business model does not rely on uh, advertising. Their business model is largely based on the hardware they sell, the phones, uh, the tablets, and the computers, in addition to the digital revenue they have from subscriptions uh, uh, that they're uh, increasing in, in value. Um, so Apple's focusing a lot on the user privacy. They always have ever since Apple's inception. And one big move that they've done with a recent update to iOS is they are reducing the amount of information that others can track. What will happen is it's going to be a rough two years for them. And in, in, a, in two years or so, maybe a little bit less, um, there'll be a newer way for businesses to track their ad spend without uh, uh, going deeper into the privacy uh, of users. Think of Flash, uh, uh, Adobe's Flash format, when Apple did a significant change to having Adobe Flash videos not display on the device. New video formats came, and uh, it's no longer an issue the way it was when Apple first announced it. So the rivalry is there, and there's an ad campaign uh, that Apple is launching on this. We're going to take a look at the video. I'm going to walk you through what it looks like. Felix? So the issue here is you have Felix, he ordered coffee, he's going into his Uber, the barista comes with him, he asks information about where are you going and your information, uh, the, barista, the barista answers. You get to see here more and more people are gathering around Felix as he is going through, through his day. He's at the bank, with the bank statement, Felix has an eye, somebody you don't know has, has a copy of this, and as he proceeds, more and more are going through. Now he's in the store, he's... Others, other entities are looking at what is he looking at, what is he buying, what is he placing in his cart, what is he removing. As he goes, more and more people are coming in, and now he's in his home. Felix sits down, goes to his phone, and he has the choice. Ask app not to track. When he does this, you can see, poof, 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 one at a time, it's gone. So it's a clear, significant message from Apple with regards to their stand on privacy, and they're trying to explain it in a very clear and a straightforward way. Of course, Facebook have their also their argument as well, uh, their own equivalent of this on what they track and what they don't track. And the big role they place, uh, they play with the uh, small to medium businesses because a lot of businesses rely on uh, Facebook and Google and others on uh, growing their business using uh, media spend. So this is why I know there's going to be a, a resolution between the two uh, where it, uh, it, it balances privacy and the needs for businesses to grow. Moving on, we're going to talk about Amazon and MGM. 